On the shores of the Mediterranean, in the old city of Jaffa, sits a museum like no other. The Ilana Gore Museum shows off the works by this internationally acclaimed Israeli artist. Actually, the museum is more popular than me. I never planned to open an Ilana Gore Museum. Never in my life. It's the art inside the museum that people come to see. But the building itself has a fascinating history. The house was built in 1740, and it was the first Jewish hostel for pilgrims to the Holy Land. In 1995, Ilana Gore moved in and turned it into her very own living museum. Nothing close to it exists. Nowhere. Why? I'm alive. And I pay attention to every little knob, to every little hole. Sometimes I'm so surprised that I own it. I've been in a lot of museums as an art historian, and this one is special because it's a living museum, devoted mostly to a single woman, and her art is exquisite. Art is in every corner of this stunning house. There are over 300 pieces of Ilana Gore's original artwork. Sculptures, jewellery and furniture. And there's an eclectic collection of art from Israel and around the world. Ilana Gore's museum has been called an artistic jungle and the mix of styles is mind-boggling. The museum was very wonderful to see, unusual, uh, combined a lot of unusual elements with a lot of meaning behind it. Artist was wonderful. With its abundance of museums and art galleries, Israel has plenty to offer art lovers. But there's something truly special about seeing modern art in this ancient port city of Jaffa. <laughs>